Interviewing for a new job can be stressful. There are many questions we ask ourselves. Are my credentials a good fit? Do I have strong references? But how often are looks part of the consideration? Darian, right? Yes, nice to meet you. Nice, nice to see you. Thanks for coming in. We want to oh, fill this position cool. fast. As you can see, I've been account manager. Um, I do have a question for you. Yes. Um, I was wondering, do you always wear your hair like this? Natural? Yes. Why? Your hair is just not professional enough for the position. More than 20% of black women aged 25 to 34 have been sent home from work due to outdated rules and racist attitudes about their natural hair. In the black community, this type of discrimination weakens economic power and opportunity. The House has voted to pass the Crown Act, legislation that would ban race-based hair discrimination on the basis of hair texture and hairstyles, like hair that's tightly coiled, curled, or worn in protective hairstyles like locks or twists. Cultural commentator and comedian Kamau Bell, who was raised in Alabama, is in Mobile. There are probably jobs where if you showed up with that hair, they may be like, could you take your braids I personally out? haven't experienced any of that, mm -hmm. but I do know some students have like, well, for a headshot, I might at least straighten my hair, not wear braids. I will say that, like the hair probably should be like, you know, neatly kept, I guess, but nothing like wild, but. Wait, you, are you looking at me while you say neatly kept and no, not no. wild? <laughs> no. Why are you trying to, why are you no. just. No, <laughs> perfect. Okay, you're perfect. thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> a lot of times it happens with black people where they like will want women to like straighten their hair or they want people like me to cut our hair down so it looks more professional. No, I don't think you should have the right to tell anyone to cut their hair. I think if a person's trying to get hired at a job, they have to conform to whatever the job requirements are. Mm, okay. It's just as simple as that. Our crew is at T.P. Crockmeyer's restaurant and bar. What will people do when they witness this kind of job discrimination? I'm very professional, and my hair is clean. I don't understand how you expect my hair to be. Uh-oh, she's getting a better angle. This has nothing to do with my experience or my qualifications. It's like it's dinner and a show suddenly. Your hair, it's a little wild. I'm just wondering if it will come off as hygienic. <sighs> Have you ever considered straightening your hair? I mean, it could look really nice. So are you saying that I can't have the job unless I change my hair? I think it's a pretty reasonable ask. Seems like what you're saying is racist. I am not a racist. I am coming from the aspect of a professional appearance. You've got everything else. I just need you to change your hair. She's pretending to use her phone. Why don't you think about it? I'll be back. Okay. She's saying it looks unkept and unclean. Be honest, do I need to change it? No. This is real nice. She's wrong for what she's saying. But if we need the job, sometimes we have to bite our time to get what we need to do. If you need the job, being realistic. Black people do this every day. I was shocked. I ain't heard that in a while. While they're still in conversation, we bring back our biased interviewer. Have you done this before for a job? I wear my hair any way I want to. What is wrong with her hair? It's just the brand that we've built. That's just her. That's, that's the way she is. Uh oh, okay. Is <laughs> wrong with my hair? Let me tap you up before it gets a hi. <laughs> My name's Kamal Bell. This is called What Would You Do? You mind if I sit down with you for a second? Fine. OK. <laughs> and you move seats. Yes, I do. <laughs> I come on this side, and I'm like, oh, my. I don't see. That's, that's not right. Yeah, yeah. What made you step up? There's nothing wrong with her hair. I got to thinking about myself. I said, well, what do you think about my hair? Would it be the same? You put right. yourself on the line, which is important. That's right. Yeah. Our interview plays out again, and not everyone sides with our job seeker. I think you should be able to do what you want. It's your company. You're right. It's more polished. Oh. Uh, As we roll again, Kamal wonders if more bystanders will share that point of view. Ah, oh, this could go, I don't know, man. This can go either way. This is. 
thank you for having me. Well, I've been reviewing your resume, and you've got all the right experiences. They're already listening. You look great on paper, but my one concern, frankly, is your hair. What's wrong with my hair? It's a little unkept for the image we're trying to show from my company. Wow. Have you ever tried straightening it? No, I used to feel very insecure about my hair, and I straighten it, but it's damaging. She keeps cleaning the table. Are you asking me to change my hair to get the job? Yeah. Wow. I'm ready to hire you on the spot. But I think this is the condition of your employment. You just take a moment and think about it. I'll be back. OK. Oh, Alabama. Oh, you can't ever tell what's happening here. You look very professional. Yes, thank you. You, know, you. you do. You do. I don't think nobody else will think like that. Oh, thank you. Oh, Alabama. It's a roller coaster of emotions. She's just weird. All the other people that work there wouldn't think it's like Yeah, she might be just be a bypass. A bypass? <laughs> Exercise might not be the place. Was that okay to ask? No. I felt like it was inappropriate. I wouldn't change. Me first. All right, Darian, what do you think? I just don't think it's ethical for you to ask me that. Let's ask. Hey, folks, I'm asking her to change her appearance just a little bit. Is that too much to ask? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I would actually be like, oh my God, if I was on the job and you asked me to change my hair. You agree with her? Oh, yes, he is. I'm a little shocked. Ooh, this, ooh, oh God. She carried herself well in my opinion. Thank you. I appreciate that. Let's break it. I would definitely take that a whole different way if somebody asked me something like that. I really would. All right, I'm tapping you guys out. Folks, you're on an ABC show called What Would You Do? And, and you did, the <laughs> and you both did the right thing. <laughs> you know, none of that is real. Look, I was appalled. You were appalled. Yes. What does her hair have to do with anything? Yeah. It kind of just blew me away. I could tell. And what about you, sir? You said I would just take that as a sign to get out of here. I would have been gone. If this is how it is starting before the job starts, yes. then move on. Yes. Move on. When I ain't believing this. <laughs> It's hard to focus on your surroundings when you're caring for an infant. So as we run the scene one final time, we wonder if this woman will hear the discriminatory language or keep to herself. Tell me, do you always wear your hair like that? Naturally, yes. Why? It looks a little unkempt for a position like this. Have you ever straightened it? I used to be very insecure about my hair, and I straightened it because I was bullied. But I don't feel comfortable changing my hair, and definitely not for a job. Which side are you on? You're young, you have a baby. You want the future. I need to take a phone call. You think about this, I'll be back, OK? Uh, OK. I'm away. sorry. I was you. <laughs> you deserve better. It's not worth it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, yeah, Dad's in it too. Oh, oh, thank you, Alabama. I really appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Did you make a decision? I just don't think I'm a good fit for the company. I'm, I'm not going to get involved. I think she could do better. So I'm sorry. <laughs> what do you mean? Asking someone to change their appearance is very unethical. Just asking her to do one thing. I mean, she would do great at this job. Then her appearance shouldn't matter. It's wrong. <laughs> We, I, I have two businesses. so she runs one of them, and I would hope that she would run really his cheats. Thank you. I appreciate it. Hi, guys. You. Thank you for your support. <laughs> We're with ABC. This is a show called What Would You Do? She has no idea this is happening. These two are actors. And these are real tears, though. Well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, you're crying. I'm just, OK. 
Are you okay? What's yeah. going on? I couldn't imagine doing that to somebody. Why do you think this hits you so emotionally? I don't want and him to see somebody doing that to somebody else. Work ethic has nothing to do with what someone looks like, so. Is this your dad? Yes. Are you having a proud dad moment right now? I am. I was raised, you know, to speak up for people that maybe don't feel like they have that voice, so mm -hmm. I would want to do that for my employees, too. So you have employees, so you know this yes. is wrong. Yes. 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 <laughs>